Olympic trials, Mark Breland. Then the two of them spot. Breland to the left, turns to the right. Tommy just covering, but admiring of Breland's poise for one so young. And of course, Hearns did tap him once. Watch Breland closely and you'll see the angular power. Much more powerful than he seems to be. Here, Breland describes what happened. You got it. With a guy like Tommy, you gotta go right at him, but you gotta be able, you gotta be able to take a punch. Cause he's gonna hit you. Five. I'm small with Tommy when I was 17. Uh-huh. And he was jabbing, jabbing, throwing right hand. I'm like, and the fourth round he said, I got you now, I figured you out. And I'm like, alright, so we spawned. And I seen the right hand coming. Jabbing, jabbing. And when he, when, he, when he threw the right hand, I turned, but it was a feint. And when I turned back around, it was coming. Ah, it was like, boom. I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> and when he threw it, I turned. And when I turned back, it was still it was coming. It was like, bang, bang. Because I was turning, I was doing, I was turning and coming back. To roll it. So when I turned, he threw a feint. And I thought it was coming back, it was coming back with it. boom. That's why, you know, I look at guys now, a guy get hit and hurt, and he makes it through. I'm like, you, you, not, you didn't finish it, you didn't do your job. You get caught first. Or, you, you know, if you, if, you, if you do this move right here, the fight's over. Tommy, Tommy too strong, too strong, too fast. Ever? I think one of the best trainers ever. You know, his leverage, he got crazy leverage. His leverage is outstanding. When he lets his hands go, he let them go.